Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Chef D, and I'm here to give you the winning ingredients for your Monday night football showdown slate between the Dallas Cowboys and the Philadelphia Eagles. We have an in-division matchup here between two uh, hated rivals here between Dallas and the Eagles. Before I jump into that, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MessengeSD, and let's get cooking all right now i are you already see i have some options in the lineup um for this particular uh showdown slate it's not really an onslaught this one can go either way all right i love both sides of the ball for the eagles and for the dallas cowboys um so let's just go over some of my favorite plays that i do like if you wanted to put these certain particular guys in your captain position all right so my favorite favorite captain position obviously other than two quarterbacks is going to be amari cooper he was questionable um throughout the week but um he is cleared for play for monday night football and as long as he's healthy then he should be a full go um the upside is insane, as you saw in week one, 13 with 17 targets, 139 yards, and two TDs. This man is a mismatch against any corner. And the Philadelphia Eagles, they, though they do have Darius Slay, um, that is not enough to stop Amari Cooper. As long as he is fine, obviously he's been cleared, so I don't expect him to struggle unless something flares up. But you cannot project that. You can't predict that. All right. So if, as long as he's healthy, you are going to play him and he should be a top option at that captain position at 13,500. All right. DraftKings salary. All right. So he is one of the top options. You're going to have to make multiple and myriad of types of lineups to get the right mix. All right. Because it's very hard. I want to be 100% honest with you. It is very hard to throw in one lineup into a tournament in a single showdown, okay? Because they, you don't know how the game script is going to go. So you'd have to hit the right cheap guy. You'd have to hit the right expensive guy. Everything has to fall into order. That's why you need to make a multiple of lineups. Have just in case Dallas is um, up big or have... Uh, a certain type of lineup if Philly is taking over or a certain type of lineup where it's a back and forth type of contest. So you have to have those type of options in your DraftKings um, upcoming lineups before it gets 100% locked in at 820, all right, or 815 for Monday Night Football, okay? So another guy that I do like that you can put in your captain spot will be Jalen Hurts. He's one of the most safe guys that you can choose. I think he is a lock to have in your lineups if it's in the captain position or in the flex. Because despite the fact that he can, he can throw interceptions or from the ball, his upside is in that rushing category. So if he struggles, as you saw against the San Francisco 49ers, where he was only 12 of 23 for only 193 yards. He still came through with 82 rushing yards and one TD. So you saw the downside to Jalen Hurts, and then you saw the upside to Jalen Hurts. And it pretty much doesn't matter. He's going to get you there at least if you're paying up for his salary. So I think he is a, an absolute slam in each and every lineup. Um, next guy we're going to go with will be Dak Prescott. All right. Dak Prescott has stepped up. He, he's looking he's looking to pay off that contract. OK, had a very prime performance against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and showed up and showed out against Tom Brady. A little bit of a poor performance against the Chargers, but enough to get his team the win. I, I didn't see no rushing upside from him in that game. Usually he is going to provide that kind of upside for you. So that's why I like lineups with Dak Prescott and Jalen Hurts in them because these are two dynamic quarterbacks that can do things with their legs as well as their arms. Dak Prescott is going to exploit defenses as well with his arm and with the fact that he has three outstanding wide receivers with a, a very good tight end and two tight ends at, at that 
plus Tony Pollard, plus Ezekiel Elliott. The weapons are supreme on the Dallas Cowboys side. That's why I want Dak Prescott in each and every lineup. So right now, if you're going with the 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 news that I'm giving to you or the the information, line, lineups with Prescott and Hertz are double thumbs up, okay? Double thumbs up on Prescott and Hurt lineups. So we like him at $11,200. Um, let's go to a cheaper option. A cheaper option would be if I'm going to get someone, you know, in the offense and I already paid up for two expensive guys on both sides of the ball, Cedric Wilson can be that guy. He's taking the spot of Michael Gallup as a um, wide receiver three. He steps into place. And I, I think as long – it depends on the game script, but – he should get a lot of looks um, when they come out in three wide receiver sets or even two if they're just going to have some rest period for Amari Cooper or CeeDee Lamb. Cedric Wilson will be that next guy up, and he he's done fine. In week one with Michael Gallup, he had three receptions, three targets, and 24 yards. Without Michael Gallup, he had two receptions, two targets, and 20 yards. In this particular game, he ain't even had a rush, but in this particular game against the Chargers, they ran the ball a little bit more, so maybe... Uh, the great game script could change where they might be throwing the ball more. Cedric Wilson does allow some upside at $4,400 if you need a little sal salary saver, okay? If you have enough salary for Ezekiel Elliott, I do recommend you go to him as well. He had 11 attempts and two catches in week one. And then he got bumped up, as like I said before, in his Charger game, they kind of leaned on a running game just a little bit more, trying to secure a win. He had 16 attempts, 71 yards, and a TD with two more receptions on that side. So he's not elite, elite like he used to be because he is splitting some time with Tony Pollard. But the upside is there as long as Ezekiel Elliott is going to get in that end zone. He is a high upside running back at 8400 If you are struggling with salary and you need a cheaper option at the running back position, Tony Pollard can be that guy. Um, he stepped up as well behind Ezekiel Elliott. He had 13 rushes, 109 yards, and one TD, and even had even more receptions than Ezekiel Ezekiel Elliott as well. He's been the more explosive back in this uh, Dallas Cowboy backfield. And at a cheaper price, if I'm getting the more explosive running back, that's something you can look at as well. So if you want to, I'll put Tony Pollard in, take Ezekiel Elliott out. And let's look at some other options that you can mix and match in your um, single game lineup so you can have a prime optimal um, first place lineup. All right, so we have Miles Sanders at 8K. He's a decent option. Um, with this Dallas Cowboys defense, I'm looking to attack them with the wide receivers. Um, if I'm choosing one or the other, they do have a solid um, linebacking core in front seven. Um, and the, the upstart corners have been coming around. Trayvon Diggs has been stepping up in that secondary, but that, that's their weakness if you wanted to choose one or the other. So I'm not really looking at Miles Sanders at 8K, but I will be looking at Devonta Smith at 7,200 um, if you can afford him. So eight targets in week one, seven targets in week two. So you know Jalen Hurts is looking for his guy. We already want Jalen Hurts in our lineups, so you need to pair him with a wide receiver if you want it to correlate. Okay, and then you bring it back with another Dallas Cowboy. So if you have enough salary, I will pair him with um, Devonta Smith. If I don't have enough salary for him, then you can trickle down to Dallas Goddard. Dallas Goddard is going to be his favorite tight end. Five targets in week one, two targets in week two. Um, nothing really, 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 really explosive. Technically, he's more of a 2B um, in this offense, and then the 2A would be Jalen Rager. If I had a choice between Goddard and Rager, I'm going to lean more to Rager. I like his explosiveness. Some of the things I've seen out of him in camp was uh, out of a second-year wide receiver. That's what you look for. So Jalen Rager at 6,200 can be a very sneaky, sneaky option in that flex position to go along with your lineups. So I'll throw in 
throw him in there as well. All right. So obviously we're over in salary. You're going to have to move things around. Um, you could go cheaper at that captain spot, go with a Rager, go with a Cedric Wilson. So you can fit in more of the explosive guys that give your, that, that will give your lineup more upside. Okay. Obviously you would need that captain guy to, to pop off, but you already know you're getting solid points from Jalen Hurts, from Dak Prescott, from Ezekiel Elliott, from Tony Pollard, they, those type of guys. Okay. Um, if I'm looking for another option, uh, we did get a positive um, outcome for Zach Ertz. So if you wanted to fade Dallas Goddard and get an even cheaper option, who's even more you know, pronounced in this offense for the Philadelphia Eagles, would be Zach Ertz. He's been clear from COVID-19, and he had two targets in week one, two targets in in week two. All right. That's just a sneakier option. Um, obviously he's coming to a wayside in this offense as Dallas Goddard is being, is becoming the number one option. And uh, probably Zach Ertz will go away this off season. All right. Some other options um, in this slate, we're going to look at, if I wanted to choose a kicker, I would choose with Greg, Greg Zerline. I like Cowboys to win this game, period. I like Cowboys offense, number one. And they're very, they're able to move the ball up and down the field. In a previous matchup last season, Greg Zerline was able to hit four field goals against this same Philadelphia Eagles team. Um, that is a positive in, that I see in this game script. Um, with the home team, with the Dallas Cowboys. And I like the fact that Dak Prescott pushes the ball up and down the field. I think that can put them in a situation where Greg Zerline can kick some field goals and knock it through the net. All right. So if you need some salary saver, 4K Greg Zerline is a solid option. One last choice, say Dallas gets up big um, and they, they need a little more, you know, they're doing more hurry up offense with another running back in that backfield. That can be Kenneth Gainwell. I already said I really don't like Miles Sanders, but the fact that Kenneth Gainwell is an exceptional receiving back, this is something I want to look forward to. In week one, he was able to get two touchdowns. One was taken back um, from penalty, but the fact that they used him in that red zone exclusively was something I look forward to. And if you really need to fit in someone that has some high upside, is going to be at a very, very low ownership. Kenneth Gainwell, the running back from Memphis, can have some high upside. And I really like him if you really need to you know, save some salary and get a someone that's going to be involved in this game. He's taken over that Boston Scott, Boston Scott role in this offense and can be really, really uh, creative for the Philadelphia side if they want to make some mismatches going up against the Dallas Cowboys defense. All right. So that's what we have for the Monday night football showdown slate. Some of the best picks I have. Remember, we love Amari Cooper. Obviously, we like CeeDee Lamb. You can mix and match both of those guys, but you cannot afford all of them. Unless you really, really want to punt that captain position, you're going to have to get really, really creative. All right? So if you wanted to take for, we'll take Pollard out, we'll take Rigger out. We'll even take Amari Cooper out. Say we wanted, just to give you a real quick idea, say you want a CeeDee Lamb in that captain spot and say you wanted Amari Cooper as well and you really want to get greedy. So you have CeeDee Lamb, you have Hurts, you have Amari Cooper, you have Dick Prescott. Some of the cheaper options I did speak about, um, you could fit, fit in a Zach Ertz, obviously. A kicker would uh left you with only 100 bucks left. That's kind of tough. And then right here, you would literally have to sacrifice your last flex spot. So if you if you wanted a little more upside right here, instead of Zach Ertz, you would get the kicker. And then you would literally, you can't even do that. You can't even do that. You would have to choose the opposite um, tight end. So if we went to, well, kicker. So we went to Jake Elliott, then you could afford um, a $200 person that will literally give you nothing. All right. So this is what I'm talking about, where you have to be careful with your lineups. I understand you want all the stars, but it has to correlate. So that maybe one out of 100, it might hit. 
So in this case, I would stick with what I had with choose one of your favorite wide receivers paired with the quarterback, bring it back with another option on the Philadelphia side to pair with Jalen Hurts, and then you fill out the rest of your lineup at that flex position, all right? Because salary does get a little bit tight for you, even on DraftKings. I know it gets really tight for you on FanDuel, but just be careful, all right? We have some solid guys. I think this is going to be a back-and-forth matchup. So three threes, four twos is as far out as I want to go. I wouldn't really want to do an onslaught, which is a 5-1, but I do think that the Dallas Cowboys put um, pull out this victory at home in Jerry's world. And that's something to look forward to, okay? Let me know in that conversation down below if you have any other ideas, any type of uh, lineup building, which is going to be something I did not discuss about in this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MessageSD, and I'll be back with another video very soon. Peace out, guys.